What do we got? Okay, these are some Marciano stuff. Okay. Rocky Marciano. Yeah. Nice. These are championship worn trunks that he fought Roland Lestaz with his second fight. Okay. That's amazing. These are a pair of gloves that he had when he fought Joe Pretzi. Was it Susie Q? Susie Q. That was the little overhand right. And he did you with Susie Q, and uh, it was pretty much lights out. You know, did it 43 times. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably about eight years old when Rocky first started fighting. Never got beat in the ring. Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, they all got beat. Marciano's the one. A lot of people out there would argue that he's the best boxer of all time. Well, there's no argument. You what know? else we got? This here is a watch that was given to Rocky on his retirement. Can I take a look at it? Sure. Okay, to Rocky Marciano, undefeated heavyweight champion, May 6, 1956. This here is a stub on Rocky's last fight. Okay, his last fight against Archie Moore? Yeah. Wow. There hasn't been anybody to ever go undefeated and retire undefeated as a champion. It doesn't happen. No one ever thought a guy who weighed 188 pounds could hold the world heavyweight title for four years straight. In a boxing town like Vegas, this stuff could go for a small fortune, if it's legit. Let me ask you, how'd you get all this stuff? Well. My best friend was Rocky's brother, Peter Marciano. Okay. So do we got any kind of authenticity with this stuff, or? I, I don't have anything with me, but I, I can get it from his brother, stating it is Rocky's stuff. Okay. So what are you looking to do with it? I'm trying to raise some money for the Rocky Marciano Foundation, which gives out scholarships to underprivileged children. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. Um... I'm looking to get uh, 300,000 for everything. That's a huge number, my man. Um, I got a buddy that's pretty good with stuff like this. Let me have him come down and kind of give me an idea of what they're worth, all right? All right. All right, I'll be right back. I don't know what the expert's going to tell me any different. I know it's rocky stuff. Uh, I don't know how I could prove it. Can I take a lie detector? Yeah. <laughs> this is one heck of a spread, man. I mean, we could have some serious money here. Absolutely. The single word that comes to mind when I think of Rocky Marciano is the word fearless. He was just your prototypical bruiser in every sense of the word. You know, he would just go out there like a sledgehammer and just pummel his opponent. Absolutely. What concerns do you have? Tell me what this stuff's worth and is it real? OK, we'll start with the ticket. I've seen a lot of these tickets from the Archie Moore fight. And you know, it's got some condition issues, but there's no doubt about it. This is an authentic ticket from the last fight. Um, ticket stub in this condition, they sell for about 100 bucks all day. Now, okay. here we have a watch presented to Marciano. Right. OK. Considering how immensely popular Rocky Marciano was, I'm sure he received a lot of these little perks. Based on the fact it's a quality watch, I would say it's worth around 5000 then. All right. That's with Marciano wearing it and everything? Yeah. OK. OK. What about the rest? All right, well, we saved the best for the last year. So uh, these gloves and these trunks, they're dead on consistent with what Marciano wore during his fighting days. He used Everlast gloves. He used Ben Lee trunks. He used his silo trunks when he fought with stars at both times. We seldomly see a pair of gloves, you know, especially documented to a specific fight. Regardless of who he fought, I mean, if these are authentic gloves from that fight, quite possibly we could have the most valuable piece of Rocky Marciano memorabilia I've ever heard of. What all comes down to with items like this is what can we prove? So, I mean, do you have any kind of paperwork with these? Uh, I don't have it on me, but I can get it from his brother. Yeah, I mean, if you can get a notarized letter from Peter himself Absolutely. stating that these items are exactly what yes. they are, that would go a long ways. So, if we're able to get all the proof in the world that these are real, what are you saying on the lot? For the trunks, only very few trunks have ever surfaced from his actual professional days. You're talking 15, 20,000 bucks on the trunks alone. Okay. Now, the gloves, again, these could quite possibly be the best piece of Marciano memorabilia ever if we get the right paperwork in place. Being that a pair of Marciano gloves has never surfaced, especially from a fight, I mean, I would say a minimum of $25,000 on the pair of gloves. So taking that in consideration, we're right around $50,000 for the lot. OK. And it can go a lot higher from there. Jeremy, I appreciate it, buddy. You bet, Corey, man. I know the seller was hoping for a higher price than I quoted him, but, you know, that's just a bottom line number. Of course, it can go for exponentially more, but, I mean, good luck in finding the guy that's going to pay that. I think he was very low, to be honest with you, but, uh... I don't necessarily disagree with you, but let me tell you, my man, to get the big money out of these, 
the six-figure money you're asking, a notarized letter ain't gonna do it. We need facts, we need proof, we need something that's not opinion. If someone's gonna give you the money you can buy a house for, I want the sweat tested of this to find out if it's Marciano's. You know what I mean? Not thank you. I, I understand where you come yeah, from. I mean, I believe every word you're telling me, but a letter ain't gonna do it to get the big bucks. It just doesn't work that way. So, in other words, you're not interested in these. I'm not gonna take them, but I'm gonna tell you, don't give up on them. Oh, no. I mean, you, <laughs> no there's gotta be a way to prove that they're real. No, I understand that, and uh, thank you. Well, I appreciate you coming down, sure, my man. Thank absolutely. you very much. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it up in an auction, and if it don't sell, I got some sun here in Vegas, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs>